Well, good morning, everybody. It's afternoon here, but this video always goes out in the morning. I've got my three boys out. Just put them out mm, a few minutes ago. They will probably be goofing off quite a bit. And uh, today's a big day. First things first, get the water cleaned and filled up. Because we're going to have all eight horses today to play and run around and probably kick up quite a dust storm until they don't. And uh, I think it's going to be interesting. Today's going to be Zulu's first day with everybody and everybody with her. These boys are so weird though. They just sometimes, what are they, what are they lined up for, right? These tails are synchronized, or at least the other two are. <laughs> that was cute. Wow. It's almost perfect. Anyhow, so these guys are going to, I'm just going to let them play for a couple of minutes. And, uh, and the water's filling up pretty fast here. So, once this is ready to go, let's get some more horses in here. Let's see how things go. I'm going to work my way down. Annie, Zulu. Right? That's our order of business around here. Annie's at the top. Zulu's next. And then Lena, Gracie. Yoka, since the boys are already here, we can skip them, obviously. Okay, we're good. I'm going to uh, have this half full for now. Let's go get some horses. Okay, so Annie's in. First thing she decided to do was have a drink of water. And I've got Zulu right with me to go in. Please. Thank you. The boys are just being the boys. Thanks for stopping. You're free. So, she doesn't have her favorite friend in here, but Annie is a close second from the way things went before. Got the gate closed and locked. Hopefully Annie's going to teach the boys some lessons. A couple double kicks will do them some good. <laughs> She's pretty good at them too. She's got a real high kick to her. Especially once uh, Mr. Wild goes wandering after her. She'll uh, make sure to plant a couple on his chest if she needs to. The boys are co-grooming a little bit. Not bad. And Zulu's looking for a place to have a roll. We'll get our noisy roll out of her. Shortly. It's like, that ground is wet. Why is it wet? Is that fresh water? I like fresh water. I'll have a drink of fresh water. Or not. Uh, the boys have run off chasing Annie. She's encapsulated. She's the one on the left, the far end. Luke's beside her. Mr. Wild got kicked out. Roni's staring at us. But everybody is on the other end. I'm not sure she's going to have a roll. I don't want to miss it because it's kind of fun and cute. She's thinking about it. She's got those little steps with her head down. Just looking for the right spot. Little turn around. She's like, yeah, it's close. So we're going to get Lena next. Look at her. She's waiting. It's a beautiful breezy day. You can see the willow tree kind of moving around. Got the leaves going. It's a nice breeze because it's kind of warm today. It's been pretty warm and uh, with a bit of a breeze it'll keep blowing away the dust that the boys are going to kick up. No roll for you? Okay, let's go get Lena. And then we've only got two horses after that. And it'll be a full herd. Hello, big girl. Hello. I have a fly on you. Let me get it. You'll have to go make friends now. Good luck. Okay, Lena's free. Free from me. And uh, I think as soon as the boys figure out that she's in here, they might make a travel up this way. It's 
It's interesting. I thought Lena would go wander. Oh, there she goes. Zulu's not making a mad dash to go capture Lena. That's actually good growth. Oh, she might follow a little. Let's see what happens. Just gotta lock the gate. Sorry. And everybody's down there picking up some leaves. Oh, Lena says, I'll make it wet. I'll make it back. Comes back around. Zulu says, thanks for keeping me company. Lena says, no problem. Quiet. A little quieter than I expected, so that's good. Less dust is better. Okay, well, it's going well. Let's go get the other two. Five seconds ago, I let go of Gracie. She's gone. What's going on, Mr. Man? How are you doing? Oh, Gracie's not going get, to get a hold of Lena. Oh, maybe she will. Lena's going over. Look at this guy. You know, you're an awful lot of fun, but... A little invasive into my space. So, what's happening? Um, hmm. Lena and Gracie want a co groom. Zulu says, Well, all right. And then these three over here, Luke and Annie, are co grooming. Roni's a third wheel. He does see his Lena just up there, but knows that Gracie won't let him anywhere near her. So he's like, Well, I'll hang out with my bud. While I'm stuck with this goofball. Okay, I'm gonna go get Yoka now. Why do you always want to play? Nope. Lena just yelled at Gracie a little. I guess she got something wrong. But Luke's doing really well. Snibbling on Annie's uh, withers a bit. Okay, let's go get Yoka. We'll make it a herd of eight. Okay, I just let Yoka go and the first place she's going to is Mr. Luke. And north she goes. Who's next on her list? Because she's gonna go sort out this top scuffle. Oh, straight to Zulu. Another chat. Gonna be a dusty day. The wind died down a little too, so that doesn't help. <laughs> She's still working on Lena. Trying to keep her around her. Yoko's coming up real quiet like. It is dusty. We definitely need a little bit of wind now. What happened to that breeze we had? Hmm. Oh man, not you again. What do you want? Scratches. Always scratches. What's happening, girl? Do you get chased off by everybody? Hello. Oh, here comes Yoka. I'm going to back up. I don't want to be an influence. Let's see what she wants to do. She feels like she needs to have a chat with somebody or not. Oh. <laughs> Hello, big girl. Yes. I get it. I do. I, I'd want a friend as well. Do you need some scratches somewhere? Maybe on your tum-tums? Oh, I think she said yes. Oh, somebody's coming. Okay, let's back up. Uh, a lot of great comments in the last... Uh, no. The last video about... Uh, no. 
about um, Yoka and Zulu and uh, a lot of people were rather impressed with this little Icelandic. I am as well. Um, the thing that was most noticeable or uh, notable because it was noticeable was how Yoka was really, um, while firm, she seems to be interested in making friends. And you're a pest. Um, and I, be I believe the same thing, I agree. I think so as well. I think that her approach, see she's sniffing right now down in, see all these shavings in here? So from a trailering uh, effort when Takaya left, went to trailer her and rightfully so her owner had shavings in the trailer. Oh my, Gracie just yelled at Luke. I don't know, I didn't turn fast enough. Um, Anyway, so yeah, some of the shavings come up. So she's sniffing that, but she does come up kind of quiet and gentle-like. She's not here to cause a problem. You are the tallest horse. You could probably reach some of that high stuff. The cedar tree is always getting chewed on. Oh, she gave up. But I agree, she's not here to impose anything per se. She says, well, here's some boundaries, here's some things to think about, do you want to be friends? And so far Zulu said, no, not really. I'm very busy chewing on the tree like everybody else. That happens. So now she's hanging out with uh, Mr. Wild, who has always been a fantastic co-groomer with her. Nom, 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 nom. Which is good, then he'll leave me alone. Can you imagine that on your skin? Can you imagine some horse coming along just scraping their teeth along you? <laughs> Why doesn't it hurt? Man. Seems like it would hurt. You know, the thing they don't ever seem to do is pinch. It's just a scraping action. Or at least it seems, some, sometimes they do a little nibble, but mostly it's just a scraping action. The angle is just right. Fascinating stuff. So, uh oh, don't chew on my fence. Just the tree. So, what's going on over here? What have we got? We've got paired up pears again. Uh, <laughs> little Annie, she's so adorable. Look at how high she has to get her head just to get her up, get up onto Luke. He's giving her a good chew, little cold groomings. It's good for them. It's fantastic even. Roni and Lena are together as you... Where are they going? Why did they leave when I came over here? What I wanted to get was a different angle on Annie. Look at her. <laughs> So stinking cute. See that little white dot on Luke's withers there? That's been there since I got him. And uh, he had been ridden before me briefly or something. I think, I don't know. You never really know when you get a horse. He's a rescue. Luke's a rescue. Uh, he came from a rescue place not far from here. And they didn't really know anything about him. But supposedly somebody had tried to ride him or something. But I think it was caused by too tight of a blanket. It's a very odd location to have that loss of, um, of uh, pigmentation. In here. Hello, Annie. How's your, uh, oh, gross. Luke is slobbering on you. Did you know that? Yeah. Um, that loss of pigmentation in an area, you get that saddle sores, as they call them, or, you know, when horses get spurred way too much and all that kind of business, and they lose the pigmentation in their hair. It's not a natural thing to have a white dot up there. These two are so cute. It's just silly. Such a beautiful evening. <laughs> Who's behind me? I can hear somebody. Oh yeah. Hi Luke. How's it going, man? You enjoying your time with Annie? 
switched up from Lena because she's over with Gracie and Roni in the corner. Oh, Zulu's going over to check things out. We'll see how that goes. I think Roni's going to come for a charge. Maybe. He's, up, he's upset. He says he's not happy. There's a quick charge. She leaves. Yoko says, wait a second, I've got to police something. <laughs> Look at that tail swish, eh? Yoko's so cute from behind. Swish, 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 swish. Just a natural movement. What's going on, Roni? You're really uh, doing a good job. Hey, oh, you're so smooth too. He's such a, he's got such a smooth face. Yeah. Hi, Lena. Everybody wants you. Just going to get Luke. But he won't have anything of it. So she's stuck with Roni who does not co-groom. So, uh, all right, so we've got a pair, a pair, and, well, Meatball's back inside one of the barrels, and Yoka's made her way over to Zulu. Gracie's having a good old roll. Hopefully she makes it over. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking no, but I hope she does. Big push. No. One more. Nope. Big shake. Dust everywhere, because it's super dry. That's Zulu. She's like, hey, you're rolling here, is this a good spot? Here comes the fluffer. Interesting. She's going for a roll, quick. Holy, she's off, so is Gracie. Exciting times. Still needs to have her shake. There it is. Such a pretty horse. Looking good. Hopefully that was a little bit of fun. For them, a little run around, unless they were worried. Hard to say. Just going over to try to get Lena again. I don't know if it's gonna work. Nope. So she's gotta sort out her position in the herd with the whole herd. We are now eight horses in the arena, which is fantastic. Happy to see this. Uh-oh. Oh, you're gonna get, you slapped her in the face with your tail, man. If she doesn't come over and bite you in the eyeball, I'd be surprised. Don't look, don't look at me, buddy. I have no interest in... No, I don't. Get out of here. Just go. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Every horse has their own just unique, interesting personality. She was chewing on his butt, though, so he probably wasn't very happy about that. I guess he has every right to kind of give her a tail slap. And now they're back together. And what's happening behind? We've got Luke with Annie. He likes her. They do really well together. It's nice to see. And Gracie's interested in being friends. She's like, we're rolling buddies. When we get up, we both go crazy. Oh. Look at those ears go. Eyes are specific. Blink, blink. Pay attention to everything. Somebody said the ears say everything. They most certainly do not. Ears are just one part. One unique part. Oh. But the eyes, the mouth, the posture of the body, head high or low, all kinds of stuff. We get to read all kinds of behaviors and anticipate and predict. Good. I'm really happy to see this stuff. This is nice, quiet communication because they're talking to each other quite a bit here. It's real. 
everything they're doing. Good, Zulu seems like a friend maker, you know, when she kind of sorts things out in whatever language. It was a great question from Ross Jacobs. If you guys don't follow him, you should. And he said, do horses of different breeds or different, different backgrounds, different locations of the world and stuff like that, do they speak the same language? You know, do they understand each other? Because we seem to think as humans that horses all know how to talk to each other. But there is likely a dialect or, you know, a series of actions that mean something to one herd that's different to another herd or, you know, around the world. Is it a different language? And obviously, there are generalities that we can make. We can, we can, it's safe to assume that when a horse turns its butt, it's going to kick, you know, the species has some, some very obvious forms of communication. What is Luke doing? Is he trying to make a friend maybe? And he's coming up from behind. I don't want to move. I just want to watch that, but I need to get a little closer. There, okay. Um, and I think, I think he, if he's, if his theory is that they don't all communicate the same, then I'm in agreement or my theory is it's true. Each breed, each sort of background, each culture, I guess we could call it of horse, has their own thing. Some things are a little different than others, but overall, ears pinned, legs kicking, striking, screaming out, you know, all those things. Uh, head down, floppy ears, quiet eyes, uh, lots of blinking, things like that, all mean peace and quiet. And, and you could, you could, you know, easily have the same thing for humans, where if we go about, you know, to an, go to another country, we can absolutely show uh, quietness or loudness. Oh, I hope this goes well. Good job, Annie. What a good horsey. Luke's, Luke's, I mean, they're really close. If I come out, you see, they're really close to each other. She's going to learn that Luke's the best, and she's never going to want to leave his side. Luke's like, watch it. Don't hassle my little wildy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. He is a little worried, though, right? He's a little protective. We could say we could probably hypothesize on... Hmm. Lovely. So that's good. There's no fight there. There's no yelling. There's no striking. There's no turning around and trying to kick. Everybody's head is nice and low and quiet. Look at these two. What the? <laughs> Gracie's doing her giraffe impression, eating my weeds. I try to get to the weeds on the side of the arena because honestly, you just don't want weeds outside your arena. That's what happens. Horses get under the fence and get all whatever. Stuck sometimes. Push on the fence, break it. <laughs> I bet he's all finished with that side of his body and he'd like her to be on the other side. That's just a guess. If he could switch sides, he would. But he's not the lead horse between these two, so he's stuck on this side. Doesn't look very happy about it. Looks a little unhappy about it. That appears as an unhabit there. See, I knew it. He took his opportunity and grabbed it. Nice job. Nice work. I like his style. But I think she's gonna try to flip back if she can. I'm not sure. I think if she could, she probably, or not that she can't, but see how she's not grooming? She's got a bit of a dark eye about her too. I don't know how to explain it, but the eyes say an awful lot. Oh. Lots to observe. Uh, lots to learn. Oh, Gracie just gave a little, a little high pitch noise there. She's like, don't get too close. 
So, you know, like the idea is that this standard bred has to learn Arabian and this Arabian has to learn standard bred. Now, my horses have been around all sorts of horses, so they're kind of, I believe, a little bit more multilingual. Uh, I don't know who Zulu's been around, so I can't even make assumptions there, but um, I bet she's never seen an Oldenburg draft. <laughs> That's Lena, by the way. And she's probably not seen an Icelandic. That's Yoka, right? Has she seen an Arabian? Yeah, it's a little more likely. Nice. Really nice to see. She's a real gentle horse. I'm a big fan of Zulu. A big fan. Standard breads are fantastic horses. Um, I can't really say enough about how, how cool they are. And she is very cool. In fact, all of the horses that have come to me from Zulu's owner have been fantastic. Benny and Bear have been here. And then now Zulu and just lovely horses. I learned so much from Benny, that's for sure. He's a master. Gracie's standing awfully strong. She's got her ears back. A little bit dark eyes. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Hang on, let's see if she comes back. A little bit dark, a little bit kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but not the friendliest or kind of quietest eyes. She could be quieter. Hard to explain, but when you know it, you know it. I think these two will do quite well. Um, group at the back is doing what the group at the back has been doing this whole time. Luke and Annie. Oh. Look at that. Mr. Wild is moving up the chain a little bit here and there. Chase Luke around a bit. It's good. And of course, Lena and Roni are just wandering around together. Pretty boring. But I like these two. Eating my weeds. There's barely anything there, you guys. Seriously. Well, they do. So, I'm gonna let these guys play for a while. And uh, evening chores and all that needs to get done. Great evening to, to do them. Perfect, perfect weather. It literally couldn't get better. Look at this. Tiny bit of cloud over there. A little bit there. Overall, blue and beautiful. Great day to hang with horses. Uh, let's see how this goes. That was good. I'll back up because I can zoom in. Make a little space. There we go. Nice. Really nice and quiet. Oh, a little bump bump. <laughs> Be cautious of those bump bumps. Um, sometimes it's a little... Uh, not aggressive, but just... Uh, one of the horses is trying to tell the other horse move a little. It's a little bump bump, you'll see it. And the other one won't respond very well to it. Gracie's right in the corner here too, so that's something to think about. Oh, the wind is picking up again. See, she was cautious. She backed up. She made a little space for her. It's a really good thing. Anyhow. Okay, let's let them do their thing, whatever they're going to get up to. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of quiet, a lot of co-grooming, which is great socialization. We want a lot of that. Being friends. <laughs> and uh, make some new friends. So, I hope you've enjoyed that. And I hope you guys are having a great day. And I will see you in the next one.